Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I am going to tell you how you can develop library management system using Python and MySQL. So before going to discuss the database and code, we will see the system, the demo of our system. You are seeing the man library management system here. Actually, the system is accessed by logged in user. So here we have user like Adam at webdan.com and his password 123 so we are accessing using the admin information so here the dashboard then we have three sections main section is uh, the one is user in which administrator can manage the users like add new users add new user view the users information edit the user information delete user form delete the user and also can change the user's password the next section is books here administrator can manage the books like manage books here add new books edit book delete books can manage the categories of books can manage the author of books and the can manage the publisher of books and the rack of books and the last section is issue book actually here we have the information of the issued books like issuing the book from here can edit the information of issued book and can delete the record of issue book so this is the system, our system here like users books so book three. so here are three sections so now we will see the database of our systems so this is the uh, database here we have a library system database name we have seven tables the one is user table in which we will store the user information the table structure of this is ID, first name, last name, email, password, and role. Role means uh, admin and user. The second one is book table, in which we are storing the details of book like book ID, book category, book author, rack ID, book name, book picture, publisher ID, ISBN number of copy, and status added on, added on or so These are the information that we are storing here for the book details. The next one is category table in which we are storing the details of category related to books means the category of book. Here is the author table in which we are storing the book author detail. Here is publisher table in which storing the details of book publisher and the rack table in which storing the details of the rack means in which rack books kept in library and also here we have a table issued book in which we are storing the details of the book that are issued like issue book id here and the book id user id to which user the book issued and the issue date time expected return date and return date. so th this is the details of our mysql database means seven table i use here for this system so now let's move to the coding level so here actually we have already developed the system so we will discuss uh, as we have discussed the database so now we will discuss the code here uh, so guys actually here in this system we are using the python and also using the flask module so guys don't forget to install the flask module here actually you, you, you can see here we have already uh, <coughs> importing the flask module here you can see so you need to install this if you if you have installed it. also we are here using the mysql database so you, you also need to install the flask mysql db module so these these two modules are required uh, to for this functions for this application library management system so now we will move so here we are actually uh, you um, we have already recorded that we have install the flask module so here we are creating the flask app then we have some app information like secret key also here mysql database details connection detail like local host root password blank and library system means uh, database name and here we are creating the object of mysql so for making the connection so now here the first one is forward slash actually uh, we are creating the login route here for accessing such a system after login actually when we logged in from the system you can see here 
the login page is loaded so this is the here log if we enter nothing then still login page is called uh, if we have login then the login page so here we have a root login here we are loading the login.html actually we have already created the template files for each page like here we have login.html so we have created here login.html you can see here this is the login.html file in which we have a form for login so if form is not submitted here you can see the root login we have a function login and we have here you can see here we are checking the form submission if form not, uh, not submission then we are loading here the login.html and when login form submit uh, loaded we will enter the login details here like here and when submit the form when we submit form the form is checked here then email password of form get and then we connect to the mysql database then we have select query select asterisk form user to have email and password we are passing a email password as placeholder and then check if user if user exists then we are storing these information to the system here as we direct to the dashboard so you can see here we are redirect to the dashboard now after dashboard uh, we have a root user actually you can see here we have a users here so the root if we go to the root user then we have a list of users here so on this we are getting the all users here you can see the try uh, active from user and then face all users and then pass this hash to the user dot html template so now we will see the user dot html template here it, this is the user dot HTML template in which we have top menus, left menus, header, and then we have a HTML for the user listing. Uh, here we are looped to the to the user size and displaying the user here. So this is the list of users creating from here. We have also we have also here for edit the user, view the user details, and add the user model. So all these functionalities are handled here. You can see the model, user model from which we are handling all these functionalities. And we are saving the user detail like here. You can see the save user root. We have a method function save user and we are implementing the user save functionality. Also here we, we are handling the user edit functionality, b user functionality here, loading the b user HTML change password all these functionality delete user all these functionalities are we are handling here for the user related to is also handling the blowout functionality by uh, removing the logged in details from the session in function logout then we are we have also a register method here for registering the new user you can see here we are validating the user details and then we are inserting into the user table then we have a root books actually on root books you can see here we are listing the books so this is the root book so we are listing the books so you can see here we are getting the book detail we have a query also getting the author detail publisher detail category ranks and then passing to the book.html so here we have a book.html template in which we have displaying the book details you can see here we are creating here also we are we have a button like edit and delete the books you can see here so suppose we want to edit the book so here we when we click the edit edit form will be open and the details is entered and from here we can edit the details like here also we can add, add a new book from here so you can easily add the new book details so all these functionalities like books edit books is here edit books so HTML table is here from which you can edit the details so you can see here this is the edit book you can you can see here the books listing edit books are here save book book detail from like 
when we edit the book details or adding a new book. So this route will be called and same method in same method these functionality will be handled like when update action is update book the book details will be updated else it will be inserted into the book table we have also delete book functionality here in delete method also also we are managing here other details like you can see here deleting the rack edit the rack functionality like save rack listing the rack so here you can see the this is the rack functionality also we have a publisher so you can see the we are managing the like uh, e delete publisher edit publisher save publisher publisher so uh, listing publishers also we are managing the author here like uh, author details author of the book so we are here edit the author delete author save author uh, listing the author also managing the category like delete category edit category and save category and listing the category details so all these functionality are handled here like manage books category author publisher rag then we are handling the issue books you can see the we are here managing the delete issue book on delete issue book root and creating the method here also we are editing the issue book here like you can see here editing the book and calling the edit issue book html all you can see the all templates are here also you can see here we are save issue book like issue uh, editing or inserting new issue like here we have action edit issue book then we are updating the issue book details otherwise we are inserting the issue book details also here we are list issue list getting the all details well, actually we are making the left join query and getting the issue list issue, uh, issue, issue book and listing there here also getting the book details user details and listing on the issue book dot html we can see the issue book dot html here this is the issue book dot html in which we are listing here you can see here we are listing the we have we have a issue books has and we are look through and listing the issue book also we have a edit and delete uh, actions here so like okay here we are saving the and deleting the issue book so this is the functionality you can see here we have a app.py template directory in which we have all the templates file also we have a static in which we have images js files actually we are using some js file for handling the author insert books categories issue books publisher rack users so all these files here so guys th this is the file structure of our project and you can easily handle uh, run this project at your end uh, actually uh, we have given a complete project uh, zip file to the link to download and run your server with the complete data with them so guys i hope you have enjoyed this um, uh, tutorial it's a very interesting project library management system using the python and plus with my space very interesting you can try it uh, and, and you can try this and run the project so i hope guys uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial so don't forget to like and share this tutorial and also subscribe our channel thank you